Hey Elena, why aren't you set up yet? I'm pondering over the idea of the Scottish clouds maybe going away. Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, first off, I apologise if I sound congested. I suffer from really bad hay fever and in hindsight, wasn't the best idea to be standing in a bush. Today, I'm going to be photographing M27, also known as the Dumbbell Nebula. It's in the constellation Cygnus and it's diagonally across from the star Vega, which is a really nice option for focusing as I tend to focus near um, the target that I'm plate solving to. This means the mount's effort is minimal and it doesn't have to make too much of an effort to get to and from certain coordinates. So one thing I would say to beginners is definitely consider cable management because when your mount's slewing, particularly near the meridian, you want to make sure your cables aren't tugging because if they're snagging and say you go inside, you're like, oh yes, um, my imaging session's firing away, everything's great and you come out in the morning and you find out that one of your cables has popped out because it's been pulled, that is a nightmare and that can be the difference between getting an image and not. See, see what I mean? See what I mean by snagging? I mean, <sighs> I'm really happy that I managed to keep the telescope roughly in focus from last session. So it's not gonna be completely um, out to the point where I can't plate solve and I have to guess where the focusing is. Normally when I'm taking flat frames or something, the focus lock comes undone and it goes, which is um, really not very handy because in flat frames, the focus matters. It's one of the factors that matters when you're taking flat frames. The silver lining of failed imaging sessions is you get practice setting things up. You get an idea for the equipment and you get an idea of where your counterweight's gonna be. See, now every imaging session, balancing is really not an issue because I know roughly where the counterweight's gonna be for this setup. It's gonna be different for different setups because there's a different, um, weight obviously but take your time with your setup because setup means everything right guys this is actually about a month later since the last little clip we've had nothing but rain wind thunder and lightning the whole time it's been absolutely horrific but I'm hoping this time to come back with a little bit of a bang. So I decided to order a one-shot colour camera. I had to make a justification with the mono camera that I was kindly given last year. I will be putting this mono camera to really good use at some point in the future, but I had to make the justification of the time I have and the weather I currently have. Now, this specific one is the ASI 294MC Pro. It's a really popular one-shot colour camera. The beauty of this camera is you can cool down the sensor to minus 30 degrees below ambient. This means that I can control the sensor temperature. So you guessed it, I've already shot all my calibration frames for this session. How crazy is that? I've got nothing else to say other than let's give this bad boy a shot, get it on the telescope, get it ready for capturing its first photons on M27. Everything went smoothly. 
I'm sorry I didn't film. I will film more, like, my more of my plate solving and my focusing once I have it down to a T, but I need to really focus when I'm doing that. Now, in PhD 2, you don't have to calibrate more than once. Um, you do it every so often, but um, you only have to calibrate once every so often. So I calibrated the last session and it went really well. So this time it was just a click of the guide button and off it went. Um, it was bliss really there are no clouds about and scotland just scotland absolutely knocked it out of the park really this can we all have an applause for scotland yeah. scotland absolutely not i got this camera today if i have any major updates in the next three to four hours i will definitely let you guys know but until then thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one but until then happy stargazing stay safe and clear skies